welcome to Six Minute Videos. My name is Zen John. I'm going to be your host for this, our biscuit edition in a Dutch oven. Today, we're going to be cooking in a Dutch oven in a backyard using a campfire, not charcoal. I have in front of me two cups of all-purpose flour, five tablespoons of butter that has been cut uh, into smaller segments and put in the fridge so it's nice and chilled. I have two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and roughly a cup of milk. Don't get too hung up on the measurements. We're going to use this uh, probably not all of it. We're probably not going to use all of that. Let's begin by placing the butter in the flour and we're going to mix accordingly. Once that's done, add the baking powder. Like I said, we're not going to be using all of this. We're just going to mix it until we get a somewhat firm dough. All right, perfect. You can see our dough is holding together pretty well, so there's not too much liquid in there. It's nice and pliable, so there's just enough, and there's not a wet sheen on it, so we added just enough milk. Now, for the perfect size, I go for about that much. A little bit larger than a golf ball. Let's roll it around in my hands a couple times, maybe three or four. Start patting it. So it's about three inches in diameter. Put it into our greased Dutch oven. A lot of uh, chefs will flour and roll and use a biscuit cutter and all of that. I don't. I don't see a need for it. The idea here though is that you do want them about the same thickness so they cook evenly. have to kind of work in. That's okay. Right. So now I'm going to wash up, put some dishes away, and we're going to get to the cooking. Stay tuned. Right. So now we're going to start cooking our biscuits. Now you don't want it heating up too quickly, so you kind of want to gauge and make sure and check and double check that you're not burning these because black bottoms and black biscuit tops are not tasty. So we'll be right back when it's time to cycle. All right, welcome back. So. It's time to cycle the coals through, and the way you can tell is by getting your hand within five inches or so, and just how quickly can you hold it there without being uncomfortable. So these coals have cooled off. We're going to get our lid lifter. We're going to lift. Also a good time to check on how they're cooking. Four coals back in. Put our lid back on so we don't let too much heat escape. We're going to move the Dutch oven. And 
And that's basically it until it's cooked. You're going to keep cycling the coals back into the fire and out of the fire. And keeping the fire lit as you go to make sure that you can replenish them as necessary. So we'll be back when these things are cooked. We're back and we've cycled the coals about three times. And I believe we're done. And that, my friends, is our finished product. And believe me, after eating those, you're not going to go back to the can.